In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. The first joyful mystery. So the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second joyful mystery is the visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The third joyful mystery is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of the baby Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy. Hail our, our life, our sweetness, sweetness and, our and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased, purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these sacred mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they, what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who raised up the bishop St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that, rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor of the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The mouth mouth of of the the just just murmurs murmurs wisdom. wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the the just just murmurs murmurs wisdom. wisdom. The mouth of the just tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, 
you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like the teacher and the slave that he become like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more those of his household? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, at the, near the end of this Gospel reading, we see this basic theme of the importance of us cultivating obedience to our Lord, and all as a way of becoming more like our Lord, becoming more like the teacher. And it's really important, it's very important that we cooperate with the grace that God is giving us to become more like the teacher, because the more like him we become, the more our wills are going to be aligned with his will. And our wills being aligned with his will is a really important aspect. It's really an essential aspect of praying to our Lord. That is how when we pray to our Lord, really it's, a, it's really a dialogue with God. And particularly in the matter of praying for things, with petitionary prayer in general, we, when we pray, th- pray for things, it's a dialogue with God. And so we really need to be rooted in that mentality of having our will, willing to have our wills be aligned with his. Because otherwise we can end up sort of treating God as kind of like a genie, you know, okay, okay, genie, these are my wishes, and if you're really a genie, you can give them to me. When the reality is, when we pray to God for things and we ask him for things, we engage in that dialogue with him, Sometimes, through that dialogue, God wills to grant our prayers pretty much in the way that we may may ask for them. And other times, he has something else in mind. And so, ultimately, when we approach that process of dialogue with our Lord, of petitionary prayer, we really want to make sure that we are rooted in that ultimate aim of our wills being aligned with his. Because oftentimes, we don't really understand his plan and how that might be working out for the, for the best until later on. And we really may, in many cases, we may not know until we get to heaven and we see him face to face. But this, this business of really needing to having our, have our wills aligned with God when it comes to praying to him for things is something I really got a lesson in when I was a kid because, so my father was because and it's it's something that we really want to work on cultivating right now because as we know we today is our second novena mass for the St. Joseph the for the St. Joseph the worker and our special intention for this novena is for those who are out of work or who are going through serious financial stress during this time of lockdown where people are so many people are not able to work and again, through this process, through this pra- the, the, the prayers of this novena, we really want to make sure that we are approaching it with this mentality of having our wills aligned with his. And as I was just about to mention, I really got a lesson in that when I was a kid because my father was a general contractor, so he built homes. And so he you know, can, kept having to you know, bid on new jobs, new contracts to build new houses for people. It wasn't necessarily just this constant steady income and so our family whenever my dad was up up for a new contract you know we'd pray a rosary together as a family we'd be praying that god dad would get this job you know and there were times that he got the job and times that he didn't but our parents always told us it's most important that we really try we really trust god's will our wills need to be aligned with his sometimes through that dialogue we have with god he wills for us to get the job and sometimes he didn't and I remember there was one time where there was this one job my dad applied for, and he really wanted that job. He really wanted to be able to build that house. And so we were all praying for it, and he did not end up getting it. And it was a real disappointment for him and for the family and all that. But we just kind of kept going and kept trusting. And later on, my dad discovered that not getting that job, not getting that contract was such 
was an unexpected blessing because it turned out that per- he would, what he heard, that person would have been a nightmare to work for. What he heard about people going, the people who were building that house going through, he said, I thought I'd never want to deal with that. And he was so glad that he didn't actually end up getting that job. And at a certain point, then he got a different job, building a house for some other people who were really just lovely to work for. And it really ended up being a blessing in disguise, but it, we didn't, couldn't necessarily see that at the moment when we had that disappointment and he didn't get that job. So ultimately, we've really got to just be rooted in that sense of that mentality of having our wills aligned with God. Now also, I imagine St. Athanasius knew something about that. You know, today we are celebrating the memorial of St. Athanasius. And St. Athanasius, he really cert- he certainly had to have some patience and trust in God's will. He was in Egypt, and he was Bishop of Alexandria during the 4th century, during the, just the great you know, controversies over what was called the Arian, uh, the Arian heresy, which denied the divinity of Christ. And, uh, you know, uh, St. Ath- Athanasius, as Bishop of Alexandria, he just preached vigorously against that heresy. And it was a pretty popular heresy with a lot of people. And he paid for that because his adversaries basically spread false scandals about him that kind of caught on and that ultimately caused him to be exiled a total of five times. By the end of his life, he had spent a total of 17 years in exile. And I imagine there were times when he would pr- was praying to God, saying, God, please let this trial, this time of trial end. I want it to end now. And God didn't end it at the time that he wanted, and he certainly had to endure and learn that trust of God and trust that God had a better plan, you know, in his providence. And certainly, you know, St. Athanasius turned out to be a saint and a doctor of the church. And certainly, a gr- he, through all of that that he went through, countless generations of Christians afterward would be able to use him as inspiration when it comes to standing up for truth in the face of lies and in the face of opposition, especially threatening opposition, people who who can spread things about you and really do things to make your life uncomfortable. And he had that ability to trust God and, and stand up for truth in the face of all that repeatedly. And I imagine because of all that he went through, that just makes him that much more of an authority And so, you know, today let's really try to ask for the intercession of St. Athanasius, try to draw inspiration from him when it comes to our roles as disciples, standing up for truth in the face of opposition that could make life uncomfortable for us, but ultimately do so with a sense of obedience to God, a sense of really trying to cooperate with his grace to make us more like him so that ultimately as we are standing up for truth and as we are trying to navigate this life, drawing drawing people's attention to him, we can do so in a way that is complementary to his will, with wills that are aligned with his will so that we can truly perform our tasks in the roles that God has given us as members of Christ's body and co-workers in his ministry of reconciling the world to God through his son, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, trusting in your divine providence, we now bring forward our petitions. For all of us as Christians, that we draw inspiration from St. Athanasius in uniting our wills to Christ, in his, uh, you uh, try to emulate him in being willing to stand up for truth in the face of opposition, but also in a way in which our wills are aligned with his. For this we pray to the Lord. For our church leadership, that they strive to be guided by the Holy Spirit in the decisions they make in response to the coronavirus, and also that they be guided by the Holy Spirit in their preaching to the faithful so that everybody can really feel united and be inspired to be the best Christians that we can during this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for our public officials that as they debate the best ways to respond to the changing state of the coronavirus situation here in the US, that they, uh, that they strive to work together in a way that is best for the common good and that avoids needless petty controversies and backbiting. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And especially for all of those who are concerned, have financial concerns, who are thinking about how, where their next job is coming from, that they know the consolation of the Holy Spirit and the trust that the trust and the inner peace that can come from truly aligning our wills with the Lord's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we will say our novena prayer to St. Joseph. Dear St. Joseph, you were yourself once faced with the responsibility of providing the necessities of life for Jesus and Mary. Look down with fatherly compassion upon us in our anxiety, with our present inability to, uh, with our present inability to support our families. Please help us to find gainful employment very soon, so that this great burden of concern will be lifted from our hearts, and that we are soon able to provide for those whom God has entrusted to our care. We ask this for all of those who are struggling financially right now. Help us guard against discouragement so that we may emerge from this trial spiritually enriched and with even greater blessings from God. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all the Lord. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of Saint Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Athanasius you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe and answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, 
we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and Recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Athanasius, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Andrew our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In whom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. No one can lay a foundation other than, other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. 
let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with St. Athanasius, may, through this sacrament, ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.